I think that if you were to ask people who had been to Bedales to define it in one object, it might well be in that chair. The Beatles chair really is a symbol of hard work. The Beatles chair is just an image of this library. The Beatles chair to me is also um, a very strong symbol of the library. It's not that intrusive to look at, but you can, if you look at it, you can really start to appreciate the fine detail that's here. They've just got that lived-in, aged look. The Beatles chair is something that connects the design with people. I love looking at them and seeing the little maker's marks that you can see. I actually enjoy the way that they creak slightly as you sit on them. You can feel the seat sort of easing around you. It's just a really pleasurable thing to sit in. The bit of the library you can take away is the chairs. It's the one component that you might have at home. I'm sitting in a version of it now. So I don't think you can possibly overestimate the significance of these chairs. When I went to Bedales in 1976, I was taught by Neville there was a great link between suddenly meeting the person whose chairs I'd already sat on for five years, um, at trying to learn uh, at Bedales in silence, and suddenly being in a rather convivial atmosphere in a wood. But the springiness of it, and the lightness of it, and you know, you've got a chair leg, very, very thin, but it's got enormous elasticity because the wood is still young and fresh. And we didn't actually bother to dry it. So here was wet timber, wet reeds, and um, it is quite a crafty, folky feel. But nonetheless, it's a lovely object.